Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What a Horse. Gary Williams with us. Yes, you ready? sir. Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, ride in apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Welcome back. I want to remind everybody that uh, these few announcements. We still have jewelry. Still selling Richard's jewelry, trying to get rid of as much of it as we can. We don't want to melt it down, but it's. Uh, I've got. I've still got all kinds of stuff. And some. I've got a great buy on a set of diamond studs. I mean, outstanding buy. You. You'd faint. We looked it up and uh, priced them less than what one of the studs is actually worth. Man. I, I was uh, doing that for a, a lady. We was looking them up, and uh, when I seen it, I said, I did not know that, but things have changed uh, through the years. That Gold's gone up. Everything's gone up. Everything's so, uh, gone up. And uh, I'm going to have to change that video because some of those items I have already sold. They are gone with the wind. That's some wonderful gifts for your wives. You got that right. Wives, you got some good gifts for your husbands out there. <laughs> you got that right, too. Yep. I need to talk to mine about buying me a new ring. She's all the time wanting me to buy her one. I wouldn't mind buying, getting her to buy me one. Yes, sir. I mean, it'd be fair. All right. Also, I want to remind everybody, if you've got a walking horse, and you really, really want to do something with him except show, take him down here to the Todd's because they do a great job, Justin and Jackson Todd. You can't beat what they do. They walk them through it. Went down there the other day and watched them. They've got different ones, and a guy is bringing a Pershon down there. I told him, I said, you're going to have to charge him a whole <laughs> lot more because that, that thing's going to eat a whole lot more. I believe they, I think they food with all kind of breed of horses, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. He said yeah. that, uh, they told him, bring him on, so we'll get him to go through it, too. Real nice people, real, real uh, family-friendly. Hey, around they, there, just. 
A lot of, of we had a good time when we was over there. And uh, I rode around on the uh, the Gator and checked everything out. So it seemed to do pretty good. Did did all right with me anyway. They were real nice people. But they they show you what all they'll do with these horses and uh, they get a good 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 training. No doubt about it. They real do down to earth. Good, you got it. Down to earth. Good yeah. good horse training. Mm -hmm. Oh, sci-fi, you getting to where he really likes that stuff. Oh, yeah. I might have to take him up on the mountain and enter him in some of that uh, competition they got. I'll haul him up there for you, Jerry. <laughs> you will? Will yeah. you ride him, too? <laughs> I'm going to let you ride him. I'm going to be hauling him. I'm going to be your transporter. We can get Jim Don on yeah. you. Let Jim Don say, Jim come on, Jim Don. Yeah. Get on that horse. Take him through the obstacle course. He's a new manager down there. Hey, he'd make it. Yeah. I mean, he would. He'd be just fine. I want to show something I'm very proud of. Anytime you go to the barn and just show up and say, can I see my horse this morning? And Jeremy goes and says, well, we ain't ridden him in a couple of days, but we'll get him out working for you. Yeah. I'm going to have to say I really enjoyed watching Sir as Jeremy rode him up at pasture. This he, horse uh, is really coming to himself now. He is. He's Always. locking in. I had one guy that looked at it and said he's kind of going like an aged horse, and he is. He, yeah. he doesn't get over himself. He's just a steady stride, steady walking, and uh, Jeremy's doing a great job. He is. That, that horse and Jeremy really connecting with each other. I mean, the older this horse gets, the better he's getting. I believe so, too. I'm, a, I'm looking forward to the fall season. You know, this horse was so big when he was little, when I know. he was a baby, so now he's just finally getting everything to come together. Last time you I know? measured me, he was 16'1 and two-year-old. About like a big old basketball player when he first started <laughs> off in, in high Club, school. Clumsy, they can't clumsy, dribble, clumsy, but then can't. once he gets it going, he gets it together. <laughs> once he learns how to dribble, <laughs> yeah. he, he, can, he can put it all together. Yeah, that's right. Well, we got a lot of fall shows coming up. We got yep. North Carolina coming up. We got uh, we got the Alabama Jubilee, and we may be live streaming Alabama Jubilee. Uh, I've talked to some people down there that want us to do it, and I, I told them what we'd you know what it takes. So I believe we may end up doing that. I advise everyone who get a chance to come to the Alabama Jubilee to come to it because this will be the last one that be, they'll have be, down be there the in that building. One. It'd be history. And I mean, for it'd be history and it'd be something because it's a nice place. It, it is. Want to tell everybody one other thing too. If you go to my Facebook page and go to the What a Horse TV video group web page or Facebook page, there is a link on there about the road the Tennessee walking horse has traveled. It goes back through everything that this industry has gone through since the HPA was formed. Now, I agree that the HPA was a needed yes. law. But I also know that to be a just law, it has to be enforced properly and honestly and without a prejudice. Yeah. So there's where we're at right now. There, there is a lot of predetermined attitudes towards our horse by a lot of people. But if you watch this video, Every bit of it is backed up with video proof of the stages we've gone through and the quality of our horse, the plateaus that we have reached, and how great our horse is treated yes. and how he looks. I suggest all of you go there. What Horse TV video group or Jerry Harris, my Facebook page, watch that video. Speaking of video, we got some video. Owner amateur novice youth, six to eleven mares and gildings. Tell you what, this was a it was a good class. Uh, it was a. I'm gonna tell you these kids are having better classes than, than they some are. of the adults. To tell you the truth, a whole lot more excitement. Well, these grandparents and parents are going out and buying their kid a good horse. They're yep. showing this class. They're going out there and looking, looking, and letting them get competitive. Yeah. I know I was, I was talking to James Wilson this morning, and he said them kids about to break him. Yeah. He said every time he looks up, they got to have something else. So, uh, but that's the way it goes. I told him I got four. <laughs> so, but these the kids, they get out there, they love it. This, Thank, 
this is the best hobby for a kid to get into is right here, is this horse business. It right is. Here. They keep them out of trouble. They, I mean, they want to do things. They can, they look forward to that weekend, so they get ready to show that horse right there. Well, they get out there and they ride like that young man right yeah. there. Why, well, shoot. If they're on the back of a horse, you don't have to worry about them being out here racing up and down the highway yep. getting into it. But there he is. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham <coughs> for Wilson and Cunningham. Your honor amateur novice, 6 to 11, Marion Gildan winner. And Eli, I'm sorry, son, but you can never show in that class again. But he's just going on for more success in life. Hey, he just, that boy loves to ride yes, he now. Does. He does. We saw that out tomorrow when he came out there yeah. to ride. He just he get put me on. I'm ready to go. You okay? Yeah, I can handle that. Uh -huh. Turn loose. <laughs> Let me get. Elite owner, amateur gentleman, Marion Gilding. This is another. This was a good yeah. class here. Look at there. That's Mr. Bruce McDonald. You know, we, we had a good celebration this oh, yeah. year. We had a lot of quality horses. Uh, we always have things that go on with the USDA that we question and, you know, it, it just, but it, it is what it is. I, I guess the, the thing that didn't sit well with me over all of it was when you ride a horse up for having 39 on him, and that's something that people use consistently, not just in the walking horse, but in other industries well, to stop their the horse. Yeah. There he is, uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald. But those are the things that upset me is, is you have to take care of your horse and then you penalize because you want to take yeah. care of your horse. And they say, well, you're not supposed to have anything on him. Well, you've got to keep his feet in good shape. But they, I don't know, they, they, they create these restrictions that hurt r rather than help. Well, the thing of it is, is they give you these, these points that you can't use and what you can use. And they are like, if they're veterinarians and I take my horse to them, they're going to give me something to help my horse, but then it's against their protocol if it's if they find it on there. But now they gave that to me to help my horses. That, that's the that's the problem right there. Is they they want to get you for doing what's right. Yeah. So it, it it's a I don't know. There's your winner right there, Mr. True Blue and R. M. Kelly for the Jacobs family. That's a good horse right there. Yeah, he was. Awful good horse. It, uh, it is, it does get bad, but that's one of the things that I will tell everybody that the video that we put together points out a lot of the things that has taken place, like everything that really helped Right there, he come back and won the World Grand Championship, yes. too. I know Jake was awful happy about that. So happy for Jake and his family. And, oh, I am, too. Tickled to death for him. He put a lot of effort in his horse business. I'm, I'm happy for R.M., yeah, too. Me, I'm very happy That's a hard-working young yeah. man. Him and Spencer is a good team together. Yep. He's one of the young guns yeah. out here, and he's getting her done. With his riding and his pencil knowledge, yeah. it helps him a lot. On our amateur novice, 6 to 17 trail pleasure, Marion Gildan. Well, I was talking about the video we put out. There's different times that, that things have been done, and one of them that really got me was when the USDA said they were so sure that they knew exactly everything that they would give us a second opinion. Well, that second opinion lasted 
part of one celebration because they one would do something and then the other if the other didn't find it or didn't get, agree they ended up arguing with each other yeah so they quit doing that which showed right then that it wasn't what was best for us it was what was best for them yeah, yeah. and and there, there's a major difference but you know you got some usda that check horses yep. that's knowledgeable and sensible about things mm -hmm. and then and then you have some of the other ones that nick pick on every little thing yeah, we, we've seen them yeah here's infidelity and carol brooke adams for carol brooke adams don't you know she was tickled oh yes but see that I've seen some of the equine veterinarians. Matter of fact, when Mitchell Butler was over the the DQPs, I came down to the inspection and I watched this one veterinarian that was inspecting horses and I made the comment to Mitchell, I said, That guy right there is an equine vet. I said, You can tell, watch him. And and he turned around and he told me, he said, You're right, he is. But you can tell by the way they handle horses. Oh, yes. You can tell, you can tell when one of them has a fear of horses. Yeah. Because of the way they act. I mean, it, it it's just unbelievable that that we as we as, as individuals who own horses, when we send our horses up there for inspection, we ins we expect an unbiased opinion about our horse. Yes. And a lot of times we're not getting that. We're getting just the opposite. It was a good class right here. Yeah, it was. A bunch of it good was. In there. Deep down in Dixie and Joe Lester, country pleasure two and three year old winner. Joe and his crew do a good job. Yeah, they do. A yeah, they, good do job. they do a real good job. The Mayor's Cantor. This is a good class. Yes. We're just going back and looking at the different videos that we have of what's going on with our industry and the classes. And we, we had some great classes this year, some mighty good classes. Some real good classes. And you know, a lot of these horses showed more than once. Yeah. Right there's me and Pocahontas and Tyler Balkum for owner Allison Armstrong. Now this was a reserve winner. But you know one thing a lot of people don't fail to realize is outside this horse industry that every one of them horses that's in that ring right there have been inspected. Yes, every one of them. Every one of them. Some of them twice. Yeah. Some of them three times. Because they they will go through inspection and help. And right there, that one right there showed more than once come back and Allison Bicknell won her. Yes. A world championship in the auxiliary on the same horse, me and Pocahontas. Allison, I believe, was more tickled that Allison Bicknell won yeah. than she was <laughs> about her horse winning. I advise anyone that's not in the horse business that's want to know anything about them is call or come to the horse show and, and watch look, and see and come and look and ask questions. Call in and somebody that you know and just ask yeah. the questions. You know, it's, people tell me things and instead of going off and saying, yeah, 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 I, I will make phone calls and ask questions. questions that's right. There was a post on Facebook this morning about an equine place that sold a horse that had been a lesson horse for years, so they took the lesson horse to an auction. Rather than posting about it and doing all this, I contacted the people. They didn't know nothing about it. Said, we don't sell our horses. 
So it was just somebody making a post. Post, that's right. Smoky Mountain Strong and Lexi Stennett for Connor and Stennett, your owner amateur five-year-old stallion winner. I'll tell you what, that right there is a good that's one. That's But my point in saying what I just said was people would get on the internet and post anything. And the worse it is, the better they like it. That's I don't right. know whether they believe it makes them uh, look smart, act smart, or what. But what they're actually doing, they're trying to destroy a good equine industry. The negativity of different yeah. things. That's what they're making all, false statements. All come about. You can do yours now. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the Amateur Four-Year-Old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both Amateur and Open Show Pleasure Divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both Open and Amateur Divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. More of What a Horse, coming up. Welcome back. You, you send us to a commercial real good. Yes. I think CJ's got you tagged now to where he just, you say it and he gets, he never did that for me. <laughs> You paying him working, on the side. Working on it. We got contact. We can look at each other. Oh, is that it? Yeah. All you got to do is wait. And he wait, knows, he he knows you're on the way. He, he knows I'm on the way. That's right. <laughs> well, we got more video. Can, can we do that? <laughs> Owner Amateur, Western Country Pleasure. I had some people contact me today about want to find one like that for their little girl mm -hmm. to ride and show in, in that all day trail pleasure class. Everybody, everybody's looking for something that they can put in, in certain classes, and that's, that's something everybody needs to know. That get your horses broke, get them ready. I say, I say in a post said, just cause your horse is standing there and let you give it a treat, doesn't mean it's broke. Okay, yeah. <laughs> And that, that was a farrier saying Oh, yeah. <laughs> These farriers like him, they will walk in there and say, okay, we're gonna shoe you today, and he raises his foot up. <laughs> yeah. They got a division for any any type of riding you like. If you yeah, like the I mean, western, no, the English, if you flat shot. Ride a horse, and you, you, you can get one. Yes. They are there. That's nice right there. I like that one too. My problem is I'm pickled when it comes to horses. Yes. I tell you what, I went, I've been to a lot of different events, horse shows, different type of horse shows, but this Tennessee walking horse breed is the most cleanest breed that you ever want to be able to go to the horse show and watch. That's it. <laughs> Line out of Beto and Rachel Teague for the Bo Teague family. 
tell you what, she was tickled pink now, tore all the pieces. And they're going, they're retiring that horse. They're going to yeah. just, they're going to study him out. And uh, I just, uh, you know, I didn't realize though, they, they, I always thought that a kid could show a pony, but not in flash eyes. No, no. And I didn't, I didn't. Not really, stay. Yeah, I did not realize that. So I told her, I said, I kind of figured that your daughter would end up on him. Yeah. She said, nope. Said, we're not going to cut him for her to ride. Said, we're going to breed him. Said, we'll get him, we'll get her one. But that's the first I'd heard it. Now, if he had pads on. And the pony, the pads, and, yeah. And he, he was in the pony class, her little girl yeah. could ride him. But he's a beautiful little horse now. He is a now. nice horse, a real nice horse. He really is. He's a beautiful little horse. Line item beat up. Right here's another good one. Gigi's Majestic. Ain't nothing wrong with that one right there. She was reserve world grand champion. She was a world champion. She, I mean, it, this horse right here has just been good consistently his entire career. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this pen away because I'm, I'm gonna sit here and click it all day. <laughs> Right there is Gigi's Majestic. Now this was a reserve world grand champion in that class. That's again, that horse Western names in English, yeah. you know, it just. That's what I mean. It, there's no something there. No matter what kind of you put on them, they're going to work. That's right. What I like about it in English, he got his head up a little bit more than yeah. he does in a Western. Elite owner amateur lady stallions. These horses are almost like cars to me. Yep. You pay for what you get. That's it. And there's a bunch of them out there. A yep. bunch of them. I tell you, when you get up in this right here, I heard a judge talking to you yesterday. He said that he seen that horse make a little bobble, but it was so much better than the rest of them that that yeah. he said, well, they they're gonna win it. But then. Made another bobble, he said, no. Nah. He said, yeah. And that's the way it's going to be. Yeah. And, and that's a good way of being. That's right. Because you can have a real good horse, a real good one, and mess up, make a little mess up, and it costs you the whole class. Yes. Right there is a prime example. Twisted with honors. I thought he was winning the class outstanding. But he ended up reserved. Yeah. And Allison took it in stride. She said, well, and she knew, she knew. She took it like a, a true sportsman. Well, this is her first, really, first year really showing that horse. Yeah. You know, so I mean, next year she'll probably be unbeatable. Uh, hey, next year she's gonna be That's hard to beat. beat. That's what I'm saying. Gonna be hard to beat. Honor amateur gentlemen, show pleasure. Much nicer horse than that class. That horse there is nice. He is. Yeah. There he is, Robert Dorch. Georgia, Florida line. He just purchased that horse from Bruce McDonald. He was just tickled pink. Yeah, he was really tickled that Bruce gave him an opportunity to own that one. three-year-old Marion Gildan section yeah. B. <clears throat> I tell you something else too. 
you can see this class right here and you can see some of the horses that's in these classes that you wouldn't think that's not quite ready to show right now when you watch them there but then they two or click. three months later they start clicking and they, yep. they turn out to be top ultra great pistol this one right here that's ira kilburn now from yep. up in kentucky Right. Yeah, he is. He's getting it done. All right, here's your owner amateur, four-year-old Marion Guild in Section A. There's a lot of A's, B's, and C's this yeah. year. What was it, 11 split classes? Yep. Yeah. I really like that mare <laughs> idea yeah. too. Beth, Beth does a good job of showing her horses. Yes. And she really does. That's a pretty good bunch of good ones. Hey, that is full of good horses. Real good horses. You know, you sit here and watch these young horses like these forward and under horses. Mm. <clears throat> right there. You, that's a good horse right there. Oh, yeah. That's My right honey bee and Taylor Walters for Molly Walters. They just purchased that horse. Yeah. And I guarantee you next year you'll see it do it that much more, that mm. much better the next year come up. Yeah, because that young lady right there will spend a lot of time with that yeah. horse. But it got that gear that you can see it can get, yep. it can improve. Oh yeah. Some some of them we see we won't see any improvements. Others we will see a, a lot, lot of improvement. improvement. Yeah. They just got that gear to them that you can tell they got a lot more left in it. Oh yeah. Right there, quite an honor, yeah. Beth Beasley. On ramp, now she was reserved. This horse is. Then got better and better as oh, the years yeah. went on. Sure did. You watch the first time you've seen on videos, and you watch it now, you see the difference in between. Just different. Yeah. Beth does a great job. You get that that age category here this next year. I know. You know. <laughs> They'll get there. Now some of them take a little longer. You take old Lurch. Oh, he yeah. won the state club when he was like 13, 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Well, we've got some of those. You go back, and Mountain Man. Yeah. Uh, there's others too that were 12 years old pusher. Yeah, it was up in the age. to see the canter classes. Yeah, it's coming back. Yes, we need them. I know Virginia Stewart loves canter classes. Yeah. I went out and, well, this was several years ago, my brother-in-law had purchased a couple of walking horses for trail riding, uh -huh. and I was out there riding one of them in the ring out behind his house, and I said, you know, I said, this horse acts like he's been shown, so I got it into a canter, scared my sister-in-law to death. She'd never seen a horse canter. <laughs> Honor my country and Stephanie White for Tony White. She come running out the back door hollering for her husband that the horse was going to throw me. <laughs> Yeah, she loved yeah, them horses. She can flat ride yes. too. That young lady can. All about the horses now. That's a great one right there. Yeah. That was one of the first that gave honors a good breed name. Yes. And it was. I mean, she stood out.
this was an exceptional class. Yes. There were some horses in there that I thought right there is one of them. Yeah. That's a walking That's booger a right there. Yeah. Look at him. But there were some horses in there that I did not feel got their just due. Yeah. And I, I can go back and look at video time and time again, and it's still. Right there's your reserve winner, Eric Lackey, a shade of Jose. That horse right there I thought was outstanding. He, he got it done, and he walked. Yeah. Eric sets a good saddle. Yeah. Yeah, he really does. He sets a good saddle. Owner amateur three-year-old stay in section B. Very lucky. Right there's a good horse. That is a good horse. I mean, Debbie showed some good horses and uh, makes you wonder sometimes how she can enter the ring on some good stuff. Yeah. Right there, you can't beat this one with a rock though. Born a Maverick and Bob Adcock. On amateur, three-year-old stay in section B winner. See, that's another one. From the two-year-old this year, he's a lot better. Oh, I guarantee you, he's going to get better. 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 He's going to be here for a while. Yeah. He's just got that way of going. I would really be does. surprised you won't see him in the big state class one, one, for, one day. I wouldn't surprise me at all. I wouldn't be surprised. He's that, good. He's that type of horse. And he was reserve world grand champion. And uh, for my money, I, I, <laughs> he, he was my choice. Yeah. He just, he, he stands out, he gets your attention. Yeah. You can look around all you want to, but you're going to come back to him. Like a glass of buttermilk. That's it. <laughs> right here on our amateur stay and in the counter. You know, there was all kinds of good classes oh, yeah. this year. It really was. Oh, Kenny rides some good, good horses too. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, he does. He really does. Kenny Compton and I'm Jordan for Della Compton, owner amateur stay and counter winner. Kenny is what you call an amateur trainer. trainer. <laughs> yeah, he is. Kenny does a good job yeah, working that one. Right there is I'm Jordan Kenny Compton, Fidella Compton, your world grand champion. I'm Jordan. Tell you what, he's a good one. No doubt about it. They work hard at it. I mean, every time I watch him across the field over there, pretty much every day he video every horse mm -hmm. that he rides. And then and he Jake's come back and check, come back and check it out. Right there he is. That's 
a good horse. That's a good horse. Buddy. Yes. That's been a good horse for a long time. Yes, sir. Jose, it ain't so. The only horse that'll beat I am Jose. Yep. Sure is. Yep. No, As a four year old. Mm -hmm. Sure did. All right, it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, we're back for our final segment of the day. And we've got some good video here. Yeah. We, we're going to have to start looking ahead. That's right. <laughs> we're we're going to have to go get videos what we're going to have to do. Go to some horse We're going to take some videos of you riding out there. I can. You may yeah. not believe it, but I can. Well, ride I, I know you can. I've, I've seen I, you. I, I've rode, ridden them before. All right, let's watch some video of somebody else riding. <laughs> Gilden, five and over, canter. That's a good horse right there. Oh, yeah. Right there reminds me of Mountain Man. Oh, yeah. When you're as old as I am, you can look back and, and pick out them old, old the horse, horses yeah. and say there's one that looks like him. <laughs> I'm going to be getting close to you because I remember Mountain Man real well, too, <laughs> myself. <laughs> he was a good one. Yeah. You know, he's in the warm-up ring picture. Okay. That's him yeah. on the mm -hmm. far rail. But now he could stroll. Yep. He could get it done, him and Sammy. Sammy was like a little ant, only mm -hmm. yeah. how big he was. He was big. But you know, Joe Martin had the biggest walking horse I ever saw. Oh, King, oh, um, King Edward. Uh -huh. Lord, was that horse big. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Well, <laughs> oh, Big John used to <laughs> he find Big John told Joe one day, he said, you either gonna do something with him or I'm gone. So <laughs> they called Dr. Johnson. Yeah. Here he is, Mr. Four Real and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons. I'm starting a, a half sister this horse out of the same mama. Mm -hmm. That's moving real good. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Paul does a good job of showing that horse. Yeah, he does. He says he's uh, Tiffany's fixing to start. Yeah. She likes it. Well, normally when a lady likes it, she ends up on one. Yeah. Mares and Gildens.
remind everybody to go to my Facebook page or What A Horse TV video group, or you can just go to What A Horse YouTube page. And there's a video on there that says Travel Road of the Tennessee Walking Horse. Watch the video. It will tell you the, the hurdles that this industry has had to go through. They had a bunch of good horses in this class right here. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of real good horses this yeah. year at Celebration. I mean, ex exceptionally good horses. My brother right there, Buck. Mm -hmm. He's in the corner. I tell you, when you watch these videos again, it makes you feel like you're almost right there again at the whole show. All over again. That's something about these videos. You know, picture only can show so much, but this video shows everything. Well, you can see everything that's going on. Yeah. And that that's the main thing. You can see it all. That picture collect dust. This video don't. You watch it. That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Kayla Balkum had a good celebration. Yes, she did. She did a good job. But there's a whole lot of good horses left the ring without a blue ribbon. Some, right. There were some real good ones left without a ribbon at all. Mm -hmm. Right there's a, a good one. Real good one. Honor and salute. And Caleb Balkum for carry the army. I told Kerry that he had one that could win him a gold world championship yeah. this year. And that one sure can, because he's a good one. You know, old Kerry's a good guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. He, he's a super good guy. Show pleasure, five and under. I tell you, this is a tough class. You take them brace off the horses and you think you're gonna get in there and have an easy class, but you're not. <laughs> you think you may be in some easy cotton, yeah. but I got news for you. The, the, it just got steep. It got steep. I thought Jeremy did a great job in this class yeah, now. Yeah, I thought he did a real good job. Very proud of him. Right yeah, it is Tell you what, when you look at them, I, I like them just as much without the tail set yeah. as I do with the tail set. They seem to get it done. Oh, yeah.
that leg waver on that yeah. thing. That's what I was thinking. Right there is honors to Mr. Guest and Jeremy Jensen for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. Show pleasure, five and under reserve winner. She renamed that horse in honor yeah. of her grandfather. That horse is a good horse, Jeremy works no hard in. Oh, he did. Well deserved. Here's your classic horses. You know, that's something a lot of people don't realize. We've had horses showing into their 20s. Yes. And we've had that for years. horse class, these horses compete against horses that's younger than them all year long and still win. I know. <laughs> you know. People just don't, they, they just don't realize that our problem is we do not have enough people out there defending our industry yeah. compared to the number out there willing to trash it. And the, and, and the, the bad part about it is other industries will jump on the bandwagon to come at us and they should be taking care of the problems they have in their own industry. That's right. That's what gets me. And at one time I, I said that I was a good mind to start showing things that go on in other industries that need to be corrected, but that ain't the right thing to do. How many 16, 17 year old horses, 20 year old horses you still competing? see out there competing like that in other breeds. You don't. That can you don't. still, you know, they might go through the motion, but they cannot compete they can't like this. compete like this. Yeah. I mean, you take a 20-year-old thoroughbred. <laughs> well, I hate the fact that back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s that we had the problem we did. Yeah. Now I do. But that was then. This That's is right. now. now this for Sacy's Dollar and Kenny Compton for Rick Compton, Owner Amateur Classic Horse winner. Hey, you got to be 15 to even get in this class. That's right. This is a good class right here. Open canner. Let's get it done. people to go look at the video we just put out and share it with everybody because it tells the it tells the story I showed the uh, interview with uh, Cecil Moses where he had worked for the USDA but he did not find what they wanted so they fired him <laughs> Good, the good thing about that, though, see, he didn't know that much about a walking horse until yeah. they did that. And then he found out he decided that he'd always liked horses. He decided that he would he would love to get into the That's walking right. horse <laughs> industry. So now he, he's got yeah. to trail rides all the time.
There he is, Jen Shadow and Jimmy McConnell for Mike Floyd. Baron Witherspoon on this horse now. Is that right? Yeah. Well, Baron, you bought you a good one, buddy. That is a nice horse. How did he talk Mike Floyd out of that? <laughs> he brought him the last night of the celebration. Mike, I tell you what, Mike's a super good yeah, guy. So that's when two good ones met. Mm -hmm. I bet you Paul Simmons had something to do with that. Yes. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, he rode out on a good one. Oh, yeah. So Baron, Baron got him a good horse. He got horse. a good horse. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do for the rest of the week? We're going to get ready to go to horse shows. Get right? ready to go to horse shows. I'm looking forward to the Alabama Jubilee. And again, yeah. that's the last time. If you don't go this year, you will never have the opportunity to go there again. Yeah, because that's right. that place is sold, and they're going to change it. So, uh That'd be the that'd be the last trip down there. I would say I'm, anybody get a chance to go need to go down there. I I am know. looking forward to it. I I hate that it's the last one, because that's that's one show that I always enjoy. Yeah, I, I mean do. It's, I like I like that show. I used to like going to it all the time. Well, they they do such a good thing for the the, the kids in uh, Camp Smile a Mile, and it's just a shame that they're losing it. I did make a suggestion that they go to Huntsville. Because Huntsville's got a good one. Coleman, Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Alabama's got one, too. So they got places they can go. I'd heard that they was going to come to Middle Tennessee, but it won't be the same. That's an Alabama show. show. Yeah. And it, it, it to me, it needs to be, but that's me. Yeah. I mean, everybody has their own preference. If they stay in the Coleman, Huntsville area, I think it'd be pretty, pretty I, I good. It'd be yeah. well attended, well I believe. Attended. Yeah. Well, I want to tell everybody, be sure to go to Water Horse TV video group. White Horse YouTube page. Look at the videos out there. And Jerry, we'll see everybody next week. Yes, sir. We All certainly right. will. Have a good weekend, folks. Yeah, have a good weekend. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.